Welcome back. You're watching your regional news wrap. We're going to start with some political news tonight. The countdown is on to decide Alberta's next premier. PC leadership candidates squared off in Vermilion this week in their first official debate. The main issues under attack, not surprisingly, the economy, followed by education. The forum was the first of eight head-to-head -head battles to decide Ed Stelmack's replacement, and not everyone was happy with the format, which did allow for much actual debate. It's disjointed. It's a very, not a very effective use of time. And, and change the format, let them uh, discuss an issue, uh, let them challenge each other on, on statements they make, and uh, then move on to the next issue. Party members will vote for their new leader on September 17th. If none of the candidates garner more than half of the vote, the top three continue on to another ballot scheduled for October the 1st. A report released this week by Statistics Canada says crime rates have continued to fall and are now at the lowest point they've been in almost 40 years. But it wasn't good news here in the Midwest. North Battleford was ranked the place with the most serious crimes. And Lloyd Minster wasn't far off, rounding out the top 10. Local RCMP blame a couple of factors for Lloyd's severe crime problems. Serious crime and economic prosperity sometimes go hand in hand, especially when it's attached to drugs. Uh, and that is just uh, a reality that we're uh, dealing with right now. Now he says RCMP will continue to be vigilant and fight for the best interest of our communities. Another new study says road rage is on the rise. High stress and frustration levels are deemed to be key factors in this five-year study. With more and more traffic delays each day and cities constantly getting larger, the problem has continued to grow. People are driving more miles and maybe commuting a bit more even to and from work. And uh, more miles per day certainly are going to affect uh, 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 road rage and anxiety and the stress that goes along. Well, a court date has finally been set to try to resolve the ongoing dispute between local First Nations groups and the province of Alberta regarding the English Bay campground near Cold Lake. Protesters have been at the site since May, despite a court order saying they must vacate the grounds. The province wants to redevelop the property. However, local First Nations say the land continue, contains sacred burial sites and ceremonial sites. The two sides are going to meet next June in Edmonton Provincial Court for a judicial ruling on the proposed redevelopment of the land. Four dogs and a cat were found in Alberta with a bacteria that causes Lyme disease after being bitten by ticks. The province says there hasn't been any reported human cases of Lyme disease this year. Ticks usually feed and attach during the summer months. If you have any symptoms of Lyme disease, you're encouraged to contact a doctor as soon as possible. If it's caught early, uh, it's usually quite uh, curable with simple antibiotics. That is what you missed in regional news this week. After the break, we're headed on location to see what activities Buffalo Adventures has to offer. Stay tuned.